Hi everyone, this is Eric with Question Pro, and today we're really excited to roll out our new Question Pro app. So wanted to show everyone a tour of getting started and how to set up the Question Pro app. So first of all, what's in the Question Pro app? It combines two different modules. The first is for offline surveys. If anyone has previously used SurveyPocket, this will look very familiar to you. Offline surveys are really ideal for events, trade shows, field research, anywhere where you're out taking a survey and you don't have a reliable internet connection, you'll want to use the offline survey mode. The other module then is reporting, and it's real-time, data on the go. All of your Question Pro surveys will sync to this reporting module. And what's really great about it is it's interactive, charts and graphs, and they're easy to share the charts with your colleagues while you're on the mobile device. Okay, I'm now going to show you how to get started. The first thing you'll need to do once you're logged into your Question Pro account is navigate over to the Apps tab. In the Apps tab, you'll see the section for the Question Pro app. You simply click Install. And that will take you to this screen where you begin setting up the Question Pro app. Now, the first thing you'll notice here is that the app is available on the Apple iTunes Store or on Google Play. So, with your device, go to those stores, and first thing you need to do is download the app. The next thing I'm going to show you then is how to set up the offline survey mode. So, again, if anyone has used SurveyPocket, this will look familiar. Uh, for anyone new to the app, what you'll need to do is look at this section, the offline survey mode device keys, and write down this device key. You'll need to input that into the Question Pro app. Okay, we're now in the Question Pro app, and the first thing you notice is there are two different modes. One for the reporting, which I'm showing you here, the account login. This is where you access the charts and data visualization. The second mode is the offline survey mode, which we just set up on questionpro.com. This is where I'll enter the device key that I just created. And what's happening now, you just saw the data syncing over from the Question Pro account onto the iPad. So I have one survey in my Question Pro account, and that's an event survey. And you can see that's now listed here as the option for my offline surveys. So I'll click on my event survey here to begin the survey. The first thing you'll see is descriptive data around the survey. There's six questions. Zero surveys have been completed on the iPad, and zero have been dropped out. So I'll click Start Survey. And now I have a touch gesture-based survey. This is a matrix-style question. This is a multi-select question. We support the slider question. And then once I've finished taking the survey, you'll see I'm back on the home screen here, my event survey, and I have one response. Now, the next thing I need to do is sync that data back to my Question Pro account online. And I'll do that with the gear in the lower right-hand corner here. And I'll click Synchronize. And the data is now back in my main Question Pro account. Now that we've taken our survey in the offline survey mode, and sync the data back to our Question Pro account, we can now use the reporting module to look at the data taken from this survey. First, I'll log in with my Question Pro credentials. And now what's happening again is the Question Pro app is pulling all the data from your Question Pro account and pulling it down into the iPad. Now I'm in a list of my surveys. Again, we see my event survey. And what's important to know here is this includes data taken both from the iPad and anyone who's taken the survey online through the regular email or social distribution that we have on Question Pro. Okay, now drilling into the data. You can see here, this is the second question. What did you think of the speakers? I can flip through this data with touch gestures. I can change the chart type between bar charts, line graphs, or pie charts. And I can do some additional touch gesture analysis on the data. For example, if I wanted to group together my very unsatisfied and unsatisfied, I simply drag very unsatisfied on top of unsatisfied. I can now look at my data grouped with the two unsatisfied categories and see it was actually a fairly substantial portion of my audience was unsatisfied. Now lastly, I'd like to show you the sharing feature. I click on the toolbox and I'm given the options to share on Facebook share on Twitter, or email it to a colleague right from within the Question Pro app. Okay, thanks everyone. We're really excited to launch the new app. There's tons of great features here, and this video just scratches the surface of them. If you'd like to see more, just please contact us for a personalized demo.